Left of Rest, Voice of Brass. I'm the secretary of the Cornwall Youth Brass Band and also a brass band broadcaster, hence my bardic name. And I'm responsible for the administration of our band, which is now 56 years old, the oldest county youth brass band in the country. And at the moment we have nearly 80 members registered with the band, but they're all members of what we call a parent band around the county. All our 22 or 23 bands in Cornwall supply young players who are learning with their parent bands. They come here to improve their skills, to work with the, the best conductors in the county and the best conductors in the brass band world nationally. Our present conductor Gary Cutt is the musical director of the Foden's Band, a prize winning band in the top two or three bands in the United Kingdom which means in the world. So we work behind the scenes to give the youngsters a chance to improve their skills, to work with the best people, which enhances, of course, their musical capabilities and also allows them to mix and make new friends from youngsters in bands around Cornwall. So very often lifelong friendships are formed or else they meet new people, they move perhaps into different spheres of music. It gives them a lifelong interest, which is what we're after, because if you're a musician when you're young, it's something you maintain for life, it's something that gives pleasure to yourself and satisfaction, and of course, pleasure to many other people as well. So there's nothing quite like enjoyment of music. My name is Brian Minear and I am the music coordinator of the Cornwall Youth Brass Band. The music coordinator arranges all the rehearsals throughout the year and uh, coordinates with local tutors to take re the rehearsals which are held monthly uh, throughout the year. We hold two courses each year, one at Christmas and one at Easter with a professional conductor and the uh, local tutors again are involved and uh, I arrange the uh, rehearsals with them for those uh, particular courses. I'm Leonard Adams, I'm the chairman of the Colma Youth Brass Band. Uh, my bardic name is Ilovard, which means music man. I'm the, uh, as I said, the chairman. I've been involved with the Colma Youth Band for many, many years, first as a player and then as a conductor and uh, now as chairman. I've been in the band like two years. Two, uh, one year? Two years. No, I think I've been in one year. What do you play? Uh, I play the euphonium. James? I play the cornet. And uh, what do you get out of it? Um, you get loads of experience, and there's different tutors, so you just get like it's like a nice range, and you get difficult music which challenges you. And how often do you practice? 
James practices every day. I don't. <laughs> Um, you do once a month. Yeah, once a month on a Sunday, and then you have a couple of days course. Four days. Four days. <laughs> Thank you very much. One, two, three, four. Um, I've been in the band three years and this is my seventh course uh, with the band. And I've been in the band since I was 11, so seven years. Eight years. And what do you get out of it? Um, I think that mainly it's just a great opportunity to meet people from other bands that we don't see in our normal parent bands um, and meet up with them once a month and then come on the course and make good music. Yeah, you learn something every time you come to practice. Yeah. What sort of music do you enjoy the most? Um, I quite like lively music. I particularly like film music. This course we're playing Batman and Indiana Jones. I really like that. Yeah, I quite like doing different test pieces. <laughs> My name's Gary Cutt and I'm the guest conductor of uh, this Christmas course. Um, it is in actual fact my second visit. I took the Easter course a couple of years ago so it's a pleasure to be back working with these very talented youngsters of Cornwall. Um, my experience um, also is conducting one or two of the local senior bands in the area. Um, last year's area competition I was the guest conductor for the Camborne Town Band and uh, I'm delighted to say that they won their area competition therefore gaining a place to play at the Royal Albert Hall and came a very creditable um, seventh place I think in that contest. So you have to mind that that competition has all the qualifying bands from the eight areas of the United Kingdom. So um, it's been with great interest really, Cornish banding. Uh, my association, and this will show in some of the pieces that we're playing, I'm dedicating a section of the programme to the composer Gough Richards, who sadly is not enjoying the best of health at the moment, but he's been one of the most hugely influential uh, brass band writers of uh, the past 30 years. I've very much had the pleasure of studying under Gough when he was a tutor at the Salford uh, University. Um, this was in fact the first brass band course to run. All the other colleges seem to run um, an orchestral course but this was the very first one to specialise in brass band music. So as I say that's what the connection with me and Gough Richards and of course the people of Cornwall with his wonderful music.